Hey there, I'm Apple Kreider with Investing Simple. In this video, we're showing you exactly how the Betterment investing platform works. We're gonna dive into my computer, show you my account kind of step by step, how it works, how to use it, and how to get the most possible out of Betterment investing. So first off, what actually is Betterment? Well, Betterment is an app or a platform designed for the hands-off investor, someone who doesn't wanna be in their portfolio deciding what to buy and sell on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Someone who just wants to set it up put some money in there, continue to deposit, and kind of forget about it from there. Now, Betterment is what is known as a robo-advisor, which basically means that they are combining kind of your free trading app like Robinhood with working with a financial advisor. And kind of the middle between those two experiences is what a robo-advisor or Betterment is. Basically, you answer a short questionnaire about your goals, your risk tolerance, your time horizon, et cetera. And then Betterment kind of builds out a personalized portfolio for you made up of different stocks, ETFs, et cetera, that best match your risk tolerance and your goals. Now, since they are custom building a portfolio for you from scratch, there is going to be a fee associated with this that we'll talk about a little bit later. But there are some advanced features like tax loss harvesting, which have the potential to more than make up for that fee that you're actually paying. But now that you kind of understand a broad overview of Betterment, let's dive into my computer, show you my account, and walk you step by step through how to use the thing. All right, so here we are inside of my Betterment account. As you can see, there is a little bit going on in here. So let's break it down step by step. So within Betterment, there are a number of different accounts you can have. The first one up here, as you can see, is a checking account. Then we've got a cash reserve account, which is kind of like a savings account. Then we've got a general investing account. We've also got a retirement account and a safety net account. So lots of different things going on. And then you can also add additional accounts down here, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But starting off with a checking account, this is going to be like a standard checking account. Okay, so you get a debit card, you can make direct deposits, you can withdraw from ATMs, all of that good stuff. And it's all based on your Betterment account. So pretty nifty and kind of allows you to kind of build out your entire personal financial situation within the one Betterment system if you choose to do so. Next, you've got your cash reserve account. This is going to give you an interest rate of currently 0.3%. So not that high, but interest rates are pretty low right now. So that's kind of pretty close to the best you're going to be able to do. So that's your typical online savings account. They're giving you a little bit of interest and you can just kind of park your money there while you are waiting to do something with it. Or if you want to use it as kind of like a emergency fund, you can do that as well. Moving on, we've got our investing account. So these two accounts up here, you can use whether you pay for Betterment or not. With the investing accounts and anything further down, those you're going to have to have a paid Betterment subscription for. And the cost of Betterment, there are two different tiers that you can have. There is a basic tier, which is 0.25%, and there is a premium tier, which is 0.4%. Now that is going to be charged monthly and just kind of deducted from your account balance. So for example, if you have say $1,000 in your Betterment account, on the basic tier, that would be $2.50 in fees per year, or with the premium account, it would be $4 in fees per year. So obviously as your account balance grows, that fee is going to increase, but that's just kind of an idea of what it would look like. Now with the general investing account, like I mentioned, this is the one where you fill out the questionnaire, they kind of build out a portfolio for you that best fits your needs. With a retirement account, kind of the same idea, but you're going to have some sweet tax advantages with a retirement account. So you could either open a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, there's a number of other types of IRAs you could open, those are the two most common, and those are going to allow you to potentially save on some taxes if you hold your investments until you do retire, or at least reach the age of 59 and a half. Now on top of those accounts, you can actually also add additional goals and accounts down here. So let's just show you that process right now. Let's say we wanted to plan for a upcoming down payment. So we're going to buy a house. We need to come up with a down payment. So we could create an investment account for this purpose. Say we want to buy that house in maybe three, four or five years. Okay. We could go to major purchase because we're going to be buying a house. Say continue. And then from here, we'll make it an individual account because we're not buying this house with anyone else. It is just going to be us. And let's call it a house fund and say we need $20,000 for a down payment. And maybe we're going to buy the house in four years. So in April, 2025 gives us plenty of time to accumulate that 20 grand. We can choose from any of these images here. See, we've got one of a house. Let's just choose that one. From here, you can choose whether you want to do their standard investing solution or you can do socially responsible investing. So this is going to focus on companies that are doing good in the world, say renewable energy companies, companies that are not kind of sin stock. So it's not gonna be investing in gambling companies or alcohol companies or tobacco companies. It's going to be focused on companies that are kind of doing good in the world. So let's say we want to go with some socially responsible investing here. We could say what we want to focus on. So do we want to focus on the climate? Do we want to focus on people? Let's say we want to focus on climate. 
press continue. Boom, now we can see a little summary of what we put together here. So we need $20,000 for a house by April of 2025. We will create this goal. And then from here, our goal has been completed. We can now set up if we wanna make recurring deposits. It'll tell us that, okay, if we deposit about $400 per month into this account, we're gonna be on track to reach our goal. So if that was what we were gonna do, then we would do that. But we're just going to skip this for now because we're not actually going to be buying a house in four years. So that is just one example of how you could set up additional goals within your Benjamin account. You could add as many of those as you want. Say you wanna buy a car, a house, you wanna save for a vacation. You can do all of those different things and kind of segment them out so you can easily track your progress on each goal. This is a really nice feature of Betterment that a lot of other investing accounts don't allow you to do. They don't allow you to create these additional sub accounts within your main account. So it can be pretty useful for you if you've got those goals and you wanna be able to visualize how close you are to actually achieving those goals. Another nice feature that Betterment has to offer is this net worth section over here. So they can actually aggregate all of your different accounts and show you a picture of your net worth. So for me, uh, this hasn't actually been updated in close to a year now, maybe a little bit more, because at this point, you can't actually get automatic account refreshing unless you have a Betterment subscription. So unless you're paying for an investing account on Betterment, they won't actually refresh your accounts for you. So as you can see, these numbers haven't been updated in like a year. Um, so this is a little bit out of date here, and there's a couple other accounts accounts that I have at this point. We don't need to go through all my bank accounts, but this can kind of give you a snapshot of how you are doing in life, show you all your different investment accounts in one place, which is pretty cool for you. If again, you want to do your whole kind of financial picture within Betterment, this is a nice feature to add. Now, if you want to actually sign up for Betterment and get started, we have a link down in the description below that's going to get you some free management. Like I mentioned, it is not free to have your investments with Betterment, but you can get some free management with that link down below. From there, you'll just deposit some money into your account or set up recurring deposits, and you will be well on your way. Now, if you want to learn more about how the Betterment investing platform actually works, we have a full comprehensive review on our website, investingsimple.com. The best way to find that is to head on over to Google, search for how does Betterment work, and then click on the link for investing simple.com. We'll see you over there.